In River State, the police say it has arrested a gang that specializes in robbing occupants of commercial vehicles in Port Harcourt for the last three years. Officers of the Intelligence and Surveillance Unit who were on patrol spotted suspicious activity after the suspects pushed the victims out of the vehicle and drove off. The police also paraded three other suspects believed to be part of child trafficking ring for allegedly stealing and selling a one-year-old baby. The command says these suspects would be charged to court while investigation continues to apprehend um, while investigation continues to apprehend other members of both gangs. Create a single passenger space chance, as in one chance, a single passenger space at the front seat while the gang members would occupy every other space. They would then threaten and dispossess him or her of their money or phone after which they would push them out of the moving car. So if the person enter, we deceive them, tell us say they don't know lock well. As we deceive us, say they don't know lock well. So we go open door. If you want lock door, the person where they for front, go they shout my hand, my hand. So my hand, my hand. If he, he shout my hand, go they deceive them, you start collect what he go. Either phone or money where you go collect them. So tell us, say, this place no go enter too often again. Say, make him come down, go enter back. If he come down, won't go enter back. The driver will move moto. He's staying with the girl and the mother. They do stay together. So he called me and said, I should look for somebody that can take good care of this or a, a baby. That those, uh, the girl and the mother, they said things are too hard for them. Nowhere to stay, nothing is coming out. And the girl did not finish her school. The person that pregnanted her denied her. So I should look for somebody that will take the child as his, her own. In Delta State, some persons have embarked on a demonstration to the Asaba Office of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration Control, calling on the agency to refrain from what they call attack on the senior prophet of Christ Messalan Deliverance Ministry, Jeremiah Fafei, over his spiritual products. Ikenamichi has more. The protesters defied the heavy downpour to come to the office of the regulating agency to register their displeasure on what they termed unnecessary attacks on the clergyman who they say have done nothing wrong. The inscriptions on their placards clearly send the message to NAVDAC demanding a stop to the agency's position on the matter. What affects one affects all, so that tomorrow I won't be in my church probably administering communion or using water during um, programs or using oil and we hear that NAVDAC has swooped on us. NAVDAC, you will respect the spiritual side of our society. What is happening it looks like victimization. Because I know that there has not been any report that those who are making use of it have died. Otherwise, then the NAVDAC shouldn't have closed down the factory and uh, everything that concerns uh, its ministry. These clergymen believe there is no reason for the agency to delve into the regulation of spiritual items. I see what is happening to uh, brother Jeremiah as a victimization. We use water in our houses, from a borehole, from a well. Do we obtain NAVDA approval before we use them? You can see, this is pure victimization. Uh, spiritual water, if you have said it's spiritual water, and is being used, is using it for its spiritual work, then it has nothing to do with it. It's not within the confines of NAVDA regulation. The NAVDAC's Director General, Professor Mujishola Adedeye, had said, Christ Mercy Land Delivery Ministries, led by Prophet Jeremiah Fufuni, is using the agency's name to deceive the unsuspecting public, saying none of the products, Miracle and Healing Water, River Jordan Water, among others, were registered with NAVDAC advising the public to stop patronizing any of the Miracle products. Ikenna Amechi, TVC News, Asaba.
Well, let's talk about spiritual water for a minute. Samuel Leheseke is counsel to Prophet Jeremiah Fofe of Christ Mercy Land Deliverance Ministry in Delta State. He joins me live from a studio in Abuja. Um, how do you respond precisely to NAFDAQ's direct to general statement that your client's ministry is misusing the agency's name to deceive the public and that there are no NAFDAQ certifications for the Miracle Water and Miracle Soap products? The, uh, first, I want to respond uh, to the uh, press release by the NAFDAQ uh, DG, Professor uh, Mojisola uh, A. Uh, that statement marks of persecution, vindictiveness, and has no iota of doubt. Personally, on my honor, I was in NAVDAC office on the 5th of September 2024, and the officers and the subordinates of the Deputy Director of Investigation and Enforcement Directorate of the NAVDAC Asaba office officially communicated to me that the supposed, the Vira, and the Miracle Soup as scribe and as reference in the uh, DG's press statement to the press is not a subject of investigation of any kind. He, they communicated to me and with the representative of the church that there is no empirical, there is no conventional investigation, and there is no scientific, scientific investigation ongoing as regards the miracle soup, that they have no evidence whatsoever. That, however, the water, they have obtained the water from a certain global table water which has no relationship with the church in all fullness. What is what what, what the, 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 the illustration is that uh, a certain vendor who ha, who's not even a trustee who the church contracted has a relationship with a global table water and it stops at that. The church do not produce water of any kind. That vendor actually takes this water and bring to the church as a spiritual as a spiritual product and a spiritual item that is that is protected by section 38 of the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and when you Hold look at minute, uh, section 5 Mr. Yes. Samuel, yes uh, the dg statement yes, i, I believe you agree is superior to you know the communication you're getting from the NAFDAQ office the question really is why put a yes, NAFDAQ yes. number on a product that is not NAFDAQ certified the, 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 the issue there is that the church do not produce the water. It is being done by a global table water. And Are you saying that the, the church is not concerned about the safety of the water it is selling to its members? To some, to some level, the church, is, the church is satisfied because the global table water, they did in their communication with the church and to the vendors that they have a NAVDAQ number. One thing I want people to understand is that there are several narratives to the statement issued by the DG of NAVDAQ. Purportedly, there is a supposed complainant in the person of very dark man. I think he's actually pressurizing and blackmailing the agency to actually indict the church. And we frown at that. The church, the church is a law-abiding church. The, in the statement of the DG, he said the church is not cooperating with NAVDAQ. That is a fallacy. That has no iota of that. I was physically present at the NAVDAQ office on the 5th of September 2024 with the representative of the church, and the church took their statement or caution. Two, two of the church representatives, in breach of their fundamental human right and their presumption to innocence and to their right to dignity, they were detained by the NAVDAQ by the NAVDAQ office. Right. Where the NAVDAQ office have no power whatsoever to detain any citizens of Nigeria. You can see the vindictiveness and the persecution by NAVDAQ. And Mr. that Samuel, is what we frown at that. We, yes. Sounds a lot like you're saying your client is ready to fully cooperate with NAVDAQ's investigation. What yes, we are cooperating with them. We are, co we, are, we, are, we are cooperating with NAVDAQ, and we I have made clear. ourselves available. Yes, is so for NAVDAQ temporary... to say the church is not... Can you confirm if there's a temporary halt in sales of these unverified products according to NAVDAQ? Yes, the church, the spiritual leader of the church, senior prophet, 
Jeremiah Fufuye has actually said on several programs that the church do not sell any miracle soap. The church can pray for spiritual materials where members bring, bring to the church, but the church do not sell the miracle soap. So I don't know where Navdak is getting their evidence of miracle soap from. I don't know. And they communicated to us in their office that the miracle soap is not a subject of investigation. Everything, okay, all the evidence they have are... Just for yes, some clarity, you on, you're sir. saying the church doesn't sell miracle soap. Does the church sell miracle water? The, the, it's actually the vendors, not the church directly. The vendors alongside the company who produces the water, who actually sell it. It is free. The church does not sell, the church does not sell this miracle, supposedly, this miracle water. Well, it's obvious that the church also cannot provide detailed information on the manufacturing process, the ingredients, quality control measures for the miracle the, water. I, I think, I think, I think the, I think the, and for what NASA yes, calls miracle soap products. Uh, and you agree that these processes need to comply with regulatory standards, and that's where NAFTA comes in for the safety of your members. Yeah, I, right? I, 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 to I totally agree with you, but the problem here is that the church do not produce a miracle soup. It is a different yes. thing. If the church is producing that, but, but, a miracle soup, but there is yes. the issue of miracle then you, water. You, but I'm concerned about, confirm. Mr. Samuel, I'm actually concerned about the concrete yes. steps that your client is willing to take to ensure strict compliance. Yeah, the, our, our, my my clients, water. both the church and the senior prophet and the representative of the church, they are fully cooperating with NAFDAQ. You, it's good to give, it's the, the step NAFDAQ has taken is even compromising their investigation and it is a breach of everyone's constitutional right to presumption of innocence guaranteed by okay. section 36.4 of the constitution. The statement by, by, by NAFDAQ is a media trial. It is condemnable, it has been condemned by the court in AG of, uh, in Ransom Kuti versus AG of the Federation. It is even right. a, a, a bias and a compromise step by the NAFDA. You don't issue statement when investigations on issues are ongoing. So the statement by NAFDA is not just one-sided. It is compromised and the church It's a good place to leave it, Mr. Entirety. Samuel. Oh, we're following this yes, story thank you very, very much. closely. I'm uh, looking forward to uh, a situation where both parties can maintain transparency and accountability in the ongoing investigation. Samuel Hesekin is counsel to Prophet Jeremiah Fufei of Christ Mercy Land Deliverance Ministry. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you, Brent. Elsewhere, the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission is holding a one-day stakeholders engagement to end exploitative pricing in markets across Nigeria. Rising from a meeting in Abuja, Lagos, the commercial capital of Nigeria, is the next stop. And FCCPC wants to warn against the dangers of exploitative practices and price fixing in markets and the impact of levies from market unions on consumables. Contrary to recent reports, the Commission insists it has no plans to regulate the prices of food items and other commodities in the market. It's also encouraging consumers to lodge complaints on its portal if there are exploitative pricing or pricing rather on consumables in supermarkets and open markets.